Hey everybody. I wanted to take a few moments to record a quick demonstration of file hashing. I think file hashing is important because if you're responsible for a production network, you want to ensure that any software packages that you install on the network haven't been modified in any way. And that's basically what hashing does is it takes a checksum uh, that are usually provided on the manufacturer's website and it compares against a hash produced by a couple tools that we're going to be testing today. And uh, the tools that I chose um, are both really neat. The first one is CyberChef. It's a cloud-based hashing tool. And they actually have a ton of other tools available on their website as well. Uh, it's actually a really cool website. And the second tool I chose was MD5 HashCheck 4 Dots. It's an installable hashing tool for Windows, it's just basically a standalone Windows MSI installer package for a Windows operating system. But it's really neat too. So the files I chose are Ubuntu and VLC Media Player for testing. Ubuntu is an open source operating system based upon the Linux kernel, and it's free and available uh, for use for anybody that you know, wants to, wants to install a Linux operating system on their machine. And VLC Media Player is an open source um, media player. It's um, very versatile. It has a ton of code acts for viewing uh, video files. Underneath these titles here, you can see I've listed some checksums here. Uh, for Ubuntu, we're going to be using an N MD5 checksum. And for VLC Media Player, we're going to be using a SHA-1 checksum. So we're going to go ahead and head over to Ubuntu's website where you would download the installer package. I went ahead and downloaded the packages so we didn't have to wait for them to download, but the package I chose was this version here. It's the desktop version of Ubuntu. So if you scroll down on the manufacturer's webpage here, you're going to see a list of links here. These are all checksums. And the checksum we're going to be using is an MD5 checksum. So I'm just going to click the link here. And we are going to be testing the desktop version of Ubuntu. So for MD5 check dots, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste the MD5 checksum. And I'm going to minimize and open the software. So I'm going to open MD5 hash check four dots. I'm going to go to browse and there's the version of Ubuntu, Ubuntu that I downloaded. So I'm going to go ahead and load it into the interface. So if you look down here, you have two outputs. You have file hash and comparison string. The reason we copied that MD5 checksum is because we're going to paste it right here because this program will actually compare the two hashes for you. So you don't have to look at each character and, you know, check it one by one. So we're gonna go ahead and process it by pressing get MD5 hashes. Okay, so it looks like they match. So the file integrity is okay. And I would say that that version of Ubuntu is safe to install. It hasn't been modified in transit from the uh, manufacturer's website to my computer. So let's go ahead and check out CyberChef now. I'm gonna exit out. And for CyberChef, we're gonna be using Win VLC Media Player. So let's head over to their website and it should pop up downloading. All right, there it is. So for VLC Media Player or the Video Land organization, they have a index of checksums on a separate web page, which I have pasted here. So let's go ahead and check out their list of checksums and find one for the corresponding file we're downloading. So for VLC, we're gonna go with the SHA-1 checksum because we know it's supported by CyberChef. So I'm gonna go ahead and find VLC 3.0.10 Win64. And it's going to be this one here. Should open in Notepad. Okay, there it is. 
So we're not going to copy and paste this one because CyberChef works a little bit differently, but we're just going to go ahead and minimize it for now. We're going to use this a little bit later. Let's go back and find the link to CyberChef, which is here. And we'll open it up. And as I said earlier, this website has a ton of tools. It, I really suggest checking it out. I mean, it's just the amount of, of uh, tools on here is just, just overwhelming. But for today, we're just gonna use hashing. So let's open hashing. And we're using a SHA-1 hash. So let's double click SHA-1. And then our input is gonna be the file that we wanna hash out, which is the VLC media player file. So let's open file as input. And let's open our file. And it's gonna load. And they call it baking on here, which is basically they're hashing the file out. All right, so there's our produced hash. Let's open notepad. And I'm gonna take notepad and I'm gonna kind of put it down here so I can compare the two strings. And we'll look through real quick. Yeah, the strings match. So that file hasn't been modified in any way either. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna load a random file just so you guys can see a set of strings that does not match. Let me see if I can find a file here. Let's just load, let's load this notepad file. All right, so since a notepad file has no size to it, it loaded fairly quickly. And I'm gonna pull notepad up and you can see the difference in the strings. Anytime the file is gonna be modified, the string is usually gonna be completely different. As you can see here, the, you know, one starts with a zero and one starts with a two and they're, they're not alike at all. But um, yeah, that's pretty much file hashing. I think it's a really neat tool and it's just a good way to ensure that the file you're installing hasn't been modified in any way. If anybody has any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you.